up everybody Mac Cannon's garage coming at you doing some more maintenance work on the GTR here today we are going to do our back brakes uh, we've already done the front we went with speed by design which comes highly recommended by a lot of folks that own GTRs uh, out here in the world so we're gonna go ahead and jack our car up we're gonna see if we can find our center jacking point which is somewhere on the bottom of the car, somewhere in the middle here. If we can jack it up from the center, we'll do that and then we'll put it on jack stands. Otherwise, we'll have to do one side at a time, which I don't want to do, but see if we can find a spot. All right, we got the car up in the air using the center jack point. So now I'm about to go ahead and take the wheels off and inspect these brakes, see how they're looking. All right, we got the wheel off. It's pretty crusty around here, so we're gonna clean this off with a wire brush. And before we put the wheel back on, we'll probably put some anti-seize on here. Uh, let's see here, the rotor actually looks pretty good. We're gonna clean it off, I don't see any cracks in it. It's got this one little mark on there, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And then for the rears, it's actually a lot easier than it is for the front. And the front is actually pretty simple. So back here, we just take this, knock this pin out, knock this pin out. Then this bracket here, the pin goes through this bracket. And I think the new pads come with a new hardware bracket. But that's the only thing really is holding these pads on here. So we're gonna clean this up, knock these pins out and remove these and take a look at the pads. All right, we got our old pins out. We got our bracket off. And then all you should have to do is just pull these pads right out. But we had to compress the calipers a little bit. And now you see these old pads just slide on out. Inside pad, they don't look too bad. Let's check out the outside pad. They don't look too bad either, but since we did the front, it's always recommended on these cars that you do the front and the back at the same time. So, like I said, the new ones came with new hardware and nice fresh pads. All right, again, we're gonna do a comparison. Here's the old ones. You can see the thickness on there. Here's the new ones. Yeah, after changing these, we should probably never have to change these things ever again because we're probably gonna have this car for a few years. And we're not really gonna track it. We might take it out maybe once or twice, but it's gonna be a good daily driver, run around the city, have some fun type car. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can get these. We're gonna put a little grease on the back and then we'll go ahead and try to slide these back in. All right, we got our new pads tapped in. We put a little grease on the top, a little grease on the back in this. Help those slide in. And one thing to be aware of on this bracket, on your factory one, you've got an arrow pointing up. I didn't even notice that until I watched uh, the boy Averon do his and he pointed that out. So it's got the hole on the left. So we're gonna take the new one. It doesn't say up or down, but we're gonna put the hole on the left. So it's the same orientation. And the way you put these in here is these little curved pieces here should be on the back of the pad like so to kind of help push it in and then you got to slide your pin through the caliper through the pad under here and over the top of this part of the bracket so it'll go through there and then it'll come out the other side so we're going to grease our new slide pins and see if we can get these started in here Avron started with the bottom one. I'm gonna start with the top one, see if it makes it any easier. Cause my top one's got this, this piece here. It was kind of tough getting the old pin past that. So we are gonna start on the top. All right guys, as you see, we got everything back together. We got our pins through. It wasn't too difficult starting with this top one. When we got to the bottom one, it was a little bit more difficult. It was hard to get the pin to line up all the way through. So one of the things I did is I went through the back side and kind of like tapped on the back of the pad back here. Just tapped it for a little bit. That allowed the holes to line right up. And I was able to just take a small hammer 
and just tap on the side of the caliper to push the pin all the way through. But yeah, that's it. It's all done. So, you know, next thing we'll do is we'll go through the bedding process, make sure we bed these rear pads, and then uh, we'll be all done. We'll go ahead and do the other side as well before we do the, the pad bedding. But yeah, it's not too difficult. Something you could do in your backyard or your driveway. Definitely don't take it to the dealer because they'll charge you probably three or four thousand dollars to do your pads and rotors all the way around. On these, we didn't need rotors, and I think we got our pads from Speed by Design for about two hundred bucks. That was the front and the rears included. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch us on the next one. Peace.